This is one of those stories about the power of social media here. A short time ago, a man came to our TV station and dropped off a large black garbage bag and said someone is going to be missing these. Well, sure enough, he was right. That bag contains some priceless items to a Salt Lake family. There's more than 20 years worth of memories. Oh my goodness. A rush of memories. Oh, this was when I went to Mona. An emotion. I love always Ella and Eliza. For Donna Verlarde. Out of the house on 6th West. And her husband Shane. My mother looks very beautiful in that picture. As they look through dozens of photos. It's the day that my father got baptized. And important documents that date back to the 1900s. <laughs> Priceless memories of years gone by. Oh my goodness, these are old. That were once lost. This is my baby brother, Angelo. And now have been found. Uh, that is me and Mercy, my older sister. The story of where the photos were found all starts right here in Salt Lake City. More exact, a downtown car wash garbage can. This is where a man tells 2 News that he found a black garbage bag. And inside that bag, hundreds of photos, some in colors, others in black and white. The Good Samaritan took the bag and dropped it off here at our TV station. The whole bag is filled with photos. 2 News film critic Ryan Painter met the mystery man who didn't want to leave his name. And basically, his only concern was that it ended up getting back into the people's hands who they belong to. Um, you know, it, it's. It was a selfless act. The only option to find the family was to post some of the photos on our KUTV website, asking if anyone recognized these people. Within a short time, the family was found. Uh -huh. A few days later, Donna and Shane showed up at 2 News to pick up their prized possession. When I got the call from my daughter, I just started jumping up and down, and I was so happy, and I couldn't wait to see them. According to Donna, the photos were lost during a move and somehow thrown out without mom, Donna's knowledge. And she stood up like that. The memories here are going to mean the most to her mother, who is in bad health and having a very difficult time dealing with the loss of her husband. She's going to cry because she's still grieving over my father and what we all are. So to whoever took the time to care and drop these photos off. Friend, at least we got them back. Yeah. There is a happy ending to this story. The pictures are back into the hands of the rightful owner. I would just like to tell him thank you, that I'm very grateful that he was such a good Samaritan to bring him in. Not very many people would do that. I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing he brought it in there. Now, I spoke with Donna over the phone to ask about how her mother reacted to getting the photos for the first time, and she said she just cried and cried.